Welcome to this tutorial using the What If Analysis tool. This video demonstrates how to use the Data Tables option. The Data Tables option lets you take one or two variables in a formula and replace them with as many values as you want. Then you can view the results in a table format. Let's start with a one variable table. Here you can see I set up a one variable table and the one variable I'm using is exam 3. So I want to know, I want to play a game, what if I get 100 on exam 3? What if I get a 95 on exam 3? What if I get a 90 on exam 3? And so on down to 50. Here are the values this student got, exam 1 a 69, exam 2 65 and so on. And you can see the overall average is computed by using a formula here in the formula bar. Exam 1, which is in B1, is 25% of the grade. Exam 2, which is in B2, is 25% of the grade. Exam 3, B3, is also 25% of the grade. And then the Excel labs are worth 15% of the grade, and homework is worth 10% of the grade. If you compute the grade using this formula, you get an overall average of 73.5. But let's say I want to play a what-if game and say, all right, let's look at exam 3, and instead of a 78, let's say I got 100. What would my overall average be? And instead of doing this one value at a time as we did with Goal Seek or as we did with the Scenario Manager, the data table allows us to look at various values in one shot. So we can create a table of values and play a what if game. Now this is a one variable table and then I'll show you a two variable table. The one variable is just exam three. So the first thing we do is we create a table and actually I can make this table by highlighting it I can make it look more like a table by clicking on the chart tool here All right, you don't have to format it, but it makes it look more like a table. Click on the empty box next to the table uh, where the values are going to go. And in this box, we're going to put the formula for the overall average because we want to know how these changes in exam three will affect our overall average. So we're going to put the overall average here in this empty cell next to the heading. The formula is here in B6. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy that. I'm going to paste that into I7. Okay, so we paste that into I7. And now if you click on I7, you'll see the formula there is the formula that we have in B6. So I just copied and pasted the formula that was in B6 into I7. And naturally, the 73.5 is still the same calculation because we just copied and pasted the exact same formula. Now we want to create a table here. Instead of getting a 78 on exam 3, what would happen if I got 100 or 95 or 90? How would that affect my overall average? So let us highlight first the table we want to create. Then let's go to the what if analysis. You have to be under the data tab what if analysis and click on data ta table. Now it asks you for a row input or a column input. The row input is used if you have two variables. We only have one variable and that is exam three so that's in a column so we have a column input cell and the column input cell is exam three which is here which is B3. So we click on B3 because that's the input of the formula that we want to change. And we want to change that input from a 78 to each of these numbers, 100, 95, 90, and so on down to 50. When I click OK, the table will fill up with the values of each of those scenarios. So let's click OK. And you can see here, if I get 100 on exam 3, that would push my average up to a 79. In fact, I could get a higher average any grade higher than an 80 will give me 74 or higher. Okay, so now you can see a, a one variable table. Now for a two variable table, let's add a row for the homework grades. So let me erase this. Now for a two variable table, let's add a row for homework average. So we have as a column exam three, 
let's say we put homework and we want to see what would happen if our homework changed. So we want to put in homework as the other variable. And let's say we want to change our homework grades to be also from 100 down to 50. Okay, I've created a nice table here with homework at the top and exam three on the side here. So it's like a cross tabulation table. And so for example, I want in this cell here the overall average if my exam three grade is 100 and my homework average is 100. This cell here would be the result for my overall average if my exam three grade is an 80 and, but I get a 90 for homeworks. So let's put the formula in that we had before. The formula here is in B6. It's the same formula. Okay, so we have the same formula that is in B6. We copied and pasted it into H7. And the same value is 73.5 for that test value that we have here as exam three for all of these um, input values. All right, now to create a two variable table, let's highlight the table first. Go to the data tab. Click what if analysis, data table. And now this time we have row input and column input because we have a two variable table. The row input is homework because row is homework. So homework is B5. And then the column input is exam three and that is B3. Now let's click OK. And you can see every possible overall average for exam grade 3, 100 down to 50. And for homework, if students have 100 down to 50, these combinations of what their overall average would be. So for example, in order to have an overall average of a 70, this would be if you have a 60 on exam 3 but a 95 for homework. If you have an 80 on exam three and 100 for homework, your overall average would be a 75.5. So here you have a two variable table that is created using the what if analysis tool. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you learned something.